Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Richie and I am in uh, Virginia Beach. And as we all know, it's January here. It's uh, cold. And what I do uh, most winters is I work on a bike. I usually take it apart and do some work and start cleaning. And that's what this video is about. Uh, do you clean your bike when you take it apart? When you change a part out on it? Or do you just put everything back? Well, I personally, when I take something apart, I clean the heck out of it. Uh, I use that opportunity to get into the nooks and crannies, into the nitty gritty of the bike and clean it very well, especially areas that are not reachable, I will say. Okay, and I'll give you an example. As you can see, I have various bikes, but this is a, this is my Harley. Sorry. Uh, so I got the exhaust off and what a perfect time to clean the, everything in this area right here. This is all accessible now so i'm gonna clean the crap out of that stuff literally you know uh also gonna clean the engine i'm uh putting some cams in the bike the push rods these tubes are coming out i'm gonna clean those very well I'm gonna clean all this now there's specific products for cleaning everything this is, you know, you don't use Windex on your whole bike, top to, I know there's guys that do that, so don't laugh, but uh, <laughs> there's guys that use Pledge to clean their bikes, okay? Don't laugh. Uh, so, you know, there's products on the market to clean everything. And let me tell you, I'm into detailing. I also have a cleaning business, so I'm somewhat of a clean freak, or at least I know how to clean. I know how to get something to sparkle. Uh, in this case, right here, this this should be shining. This is dirty. The starter, uh, that's dirty. Uh, this is dirty over here. What am I gonna use there? Uh, it's not the same thing I'm gonna use on the chrome. I'm gonna use chrome polish. First, I'm gonna get rid of the heavy soil with a wet rag and maybe some all-purpose cleaner. Spray it, wipe it down, and then hit it with some chrome polish till it gleams same thing here same thing here using a toothbrush okay this cover is coming off i'm gonna clean this down I'm putting a cam in this thing uh this cover is coming off i'm gonna clean this top to bottom everything is gonna be cleaned on that uh so that's that's basically the engine you know i'm gonna work on the wheels i'm taking the bike apart uh I have two months. I'm going to Daytona and uh, Daytona Bike Week in two months. And we're going to be riding the state. And that basically, you know, is my project for the winter is to get my bike ready to do that. So I uh, wanted to talk about this because this is what I've been working on for the last two days. All right. Getting this paint correct. This bike is now going to be 12 years old, uh, and the person that owned it before I did, they loved this bike, and they waxed it like crazy. They put a lot of wax on this thing. So, I went to Buffett because it was very dull. All of this was dull, and I went to give it a rubbing compound to buff it out. To get rid of the dullness, the oxidation that the clear coat had. And this is what I use. Okay. Now, you don't just use rubbing compound and grab the first pad that, or a wool pad. No. You know, it's 2021. This pad is made for rubbing compound. This is actually a set, okay? Meguiar's compound with that pad. It's a set. They go together, okay? I also have a pad for polishing the bike to make it shine. I haven't done that yet. This is just a compound, what you're seeing here. I have to give it the next step. 
And when I do that, I'm gonna use the correct pad with the correct machine. This is one of the machines I have. Okay, this is for uh, smaller places I can't reach. And I have attachments for that. As you can see, there's smaller ones and smaller ones yet. Uh, so, using the right equipment for the right product, it's kind of they go together. Uh, it's very important that you don't use a wool pad on something like this. You're going to blow through this pinstripe. Uh, I will say I'm happy with the result that I have so far compared to what it was like. You know, this bat wing here on Harley Davidson's, this takes the brunt of everything. You know, bugs, dirt, oil from cars, antifreeze, everything that the cars are spitting out as you're driving down the road. This bike has 25,000 miles on it. This, this bat wing is catching all of that stuff. So, it came out pretty good. It doesn't have, I'm very impressed. It doesn't have a lot, uh, rock chips and things like that that you would expect, that I would expect. Uh, moving on, the rear fender here is in bad shape. Not sure if you can see that, but the seat here has worn the clear coat, you know, has just worn it down. So that's going to require some work to get that, some rubbing compound. That's part of the seat. Now the thing is, why would I want to clean that fender? I'm going to use this bike differently than the previous owner. They had the stock seat on it, which is a full seat. I am, uh, I am installing. It's at the upholsterers right now, but a two-piece uh, CVO seat. And there's going to be times where I'm just going to ride with the pilot seat with the with the driver's seat it's not going to have the passengers obviously if i'm going touring like i am in march i'm going to have a tour pack which is this big thing here trunk different names people call it uh and i will be using the back seat but i want to get that perfectly clean the wheels i'm going to clean those off I'm going to take them off, and I'm going to detail clean those things. It's going to look like it was brand new the day it came from the factory. The same thing with the tank, the inner fairing, the end, just everything. The calipers. Uh, so, my next step is, after that, is this product here. This is made by IGL Coatings. This is what they call a pre-coat. And this is made of alcohol and a little bit of uh, citrus cleaner. Okay, orange cleaner, citrus cleaner, whatever. Very light on that stuff because that stuff will eat through the, uh, uh, what do you call, through the clear coat. Okay. Then after that, I'll use the polish and this is what's going to make it shine okay right now it looks pretty good when i hit it with this it's going to look way better and then once i'm done with that ceramic coat this is car pro ceramic coat this is about 75 dollars for this little bottle it is how many ounces i don't even I don't know, I'd say it is about maybe three, four ounces. Uh, now this is the deluxe. This is for chrome, and this is for uh, the exhaust, and this is for wheels, for anything that gets hot, okay? For the paint, they have straight up, I think it's called uh, UK uh, Ceramic Coat, uh, Car Pro Ceramic Coat UK 2.0 is the new one, okay? So it's a car pro product, best on the market, in my opinion. This is what I clean the bike with after you ceramic coat it. You don't want to use any harsh chemicals, okay? 
You don't have to buy anything this big. You can buy a quart size. I have, we have four or five vehicles in my house. I have seven motorcycles in my garage. So, you know, there's a lot of car washing and stuff. I like to use good stuff. Now, so what's very important is, and as I told you with this thing, okay, is when I washed this bike, okay, the first time, and I went to uh, do the compound, I went to buff it, and I noticed that there was like a oily residue smeary looking uh, film on the paint of the bat wing, okay? And I did it again. And I, I cleaned my microfiber uh, pad out. I, you blow it out with the uh, compressed air. And I blew it out, cleaned it again, put four dabs of, ah, it's back there, rubbing compound, okay? There's videos that'll show you specifically how to use rubbing compound. You don't put a bunch of rubbing compound on the item that you're going to rub. You put four pea-sized dots on the pad itself, you smear that around, then you turn the machine on. Rubbing compound, you put on low, so one or two, uh, if you have variable speed. And if, when you're doing the polish, you're going to do three or four, maybe five, okay? You don't want to burn the paint. It's very important. And there are specific videos that will teach you how to use a machine so that you're not ruining your paint. You don't have to be afraid. Just watch the video. Uh, it's, it's slow movement, but more than anything, it's not having the machine on super high, okay? So... Going back to where I was with this, was it, it was smeary. So I did it about probably three times and was trying to figure out what was wrong. Why, why was it doing that? So I washed the bike again. I put it away and I let it sit for about two days and I kind of studied the situation. And it came to me that the guy that owned this bike he had waxed it so many times, it had it had a, a, a smearing of wax that wasn't coming off in the wash. And that's where this product comes in. So I ordered this on Amazon. And this, even though it says for boat, this 100% took the wax off. Okay? So I followed like everything you follow the manufacturer's directions you don't just wing it and throw what you think follow their directions they, they studied this problem this product okay they came up with it they said this is how much you need follow the directions wash the bike and what i did was i soaked it with the with the solution and a microfiber cleaning pad and then i let it sit and i went over it again, hosed it off, did it again. I did that five times and it came off. It was a lot, a lot of wax. This guy had this bike for about 11 years and he, he put wax on there. Uh, so uh, that's where I'm at. I hope this was informative. I hope this motivated you, encouraged you to clean your bike when you take things apart. You know, if you live anywhere in cold climate, winter time is the perfect time to take your bike apart you're learning you know you can do brakes oil changes air filters spark plugs all at the same time you can give it a nice tune-up you know if you have a chain you grease the chain oil the chain uh you know belt you adjust your belt you do all this stuff in the winter time and once springtime comes around your bike is beautiful it's clean it's happy you know it's fresh it's ready to roll okay and then that at the same time i i think it motivates you to keep your bike clean you know i use my bike two or three times and especially on a longer trip i wash it you know not necessarily wash it i'll clean the parts that got dirty i don't hose my bike off uh often okay i do clean the parts that get really dirty, okay?
a lot of water on the bike in my opinion is not very good okay uh so maybe twice a year i hose it and that is all well you guys i hope you subscribe you like the video and share it okay now i'm um i have other videos that i'm going to be coming up with i'm going to be going to uh the keys in march uh i hope to record that that's going to be a fun video uh i'm going to be doing other projects i just don't have a harley i have various bikes i have a bmw i have a goldwing a custom goldwing looks a mess right now because it's got that cover on it i have a ninja zx11 it's all covered up i have a honda back there in the corner it's a honda hawk 400 it's my very first bike i've been riding since 1979 that's 41 years uh, and that was my first bike that is not my first bike but that was the same bike uh, I got a Harley Softail uh, with some long fishtails. I have a BMW uh, GS. This is an 1100. Uh, that I'm doing a little work to also, eh, minor stuff. And that right there is a Ducati 944, which I'm turning into a cafe racer. Uh, got a few other bikes that are uh, in need of a lot of help. And maybe, you know, down the road, I'll be uh, doing some videos on bringing those back to life. Anyway, you guys take care. Like I said, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And if you'd like to see more, and comment. You know, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, you know, where should this channel go to? Uh, where should I take this? Right now, it's in the beginning stages, you know. I could do motorcycle repair, I could do motorcycle travel, I could do, you know, stick to just jet bikes, Harleys, I, I like all kind of bikes, so, uh, you know, your, your uh, guidance is helpful to me, alright, take care, peace.